Hi guys, welcome to Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready to wake up to walk? Who's ready to attack the day? Definitely am. Really feeling it this morning. It's a real fresh morning. As you can see behind me, it looks pretty cold, which it is. Um, it's foggy as well, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, in Nottingham, it was actually uh, clear. I was expecting a cover in the snow, but that didn't quite transpire. So uh, I thought I'd come out and uh, use the clear day to get a good view. I always love a view. I mention that quite a lot. And uh, as you can see behind me, where I've come to, it's actually really, really foggy. There you go. Doesn't matter, does it? We're up, we're out, we're walking, we're attacking the day, making the most of it. And it's great actually for uh, processing the thoughts, clearing the head. Do you know, I said, I mentioned yesterday, I feel a bit groggy, perhaps after that uh, vaccination. Do you know, still feeling it, still, um, still not quite right. Something's not right, but I'll be fine. I'll be good. Really looking forward to uh, getting this done, getting a walk in. I actually plan to walk from a place called Sturley Village up to Swingate, which is kind of in the, it's kind of to the west of Nottinghamshire. Um, you might be able to hear the traffic behind me. I'm actually just walking along by the M1. I'll go over the bridge in a minute. And uh, it's the only bit of the M1 actually in Nottingham, just a random fact there, in Nottingham city. Um, Australia itself, I was just reading something on Wikipedia. Actually, uh, it's actually mentioned in the Doomsday book. Not much history other than that. But I wanted to get up here for a walk. I've uh, ran here once before, and I know there's some really good views. Like I say, I can't show you those today, but there's some really uh, nice views over towards Cossall and the uh, Nottingham Canal, which leads to Ilkeston. So we're kind of on the North Derbyshire border, um, despite the fact we're so close to Nottingham City as well. But so that's Strelly. That's uh, that's all there is to it, really. Just just coming up to this motorway bridge now. Lockdown. What lockdown? I'll show you how much traffic's about. But there you go. Let's not let's not worry too much about that. Do you know? Might be a little bit noisy for a sec. So hopefully you can hear me. I'll try and speak up a little bit. Just watching my footing as well. Um, but when I get into the village, it's, it's actually really pretty. Do you know, that's why I wanted to come up. It's a lovely walk, probably my initial route. There's the traffic lot. My initial route is about two, three miles. Not quite going to get that in because of some of the uh, pathways. It's very, very soggy, as you can imagine. Like I say, I wasn't quite expecting that. But it's just fantastic to be out, isn't it? Do you know? Sorry, I'm just coming over this bridge. It's just absolutely fantastic to be out. Like I say, because I'm not feeling fantastic, do you know, in terms of wellness, um, I'm feeling okay other than that. I've had a really good week. We always like to sort of reflect on what's been said. Do you know, I started the week by saying that we, uh, we have to set boundaries and we control our own thoughts. And I really believe that, you know, I was thinking about it yesterday while, whilst I was preparing for Thursday thoughts. It's so important to uh, realise that we control our thoughts. So doing something like this on a Friday morning just gives you a chance to process things. Do you know, I was, I was thinking sometimes we go to bed and we lie in bed thinking crazy, wacky things. Do you know, we, we get stressed out from the previous day. Do you know, we, we let people upset us. And then we get up in the morning and we rush around and we fly off to work and it's still all sort of ticking over. We, we've not had a chance to think, think, think things through. What this does for me, it's just a perfect opportunity to process all that, realise most of the time things aren't quite as bad as they seem. And that's important to remember, isn't it? Do you know, because most of the time that is the case. Do you know, you, you, like I say, you get up and you, you've not had a chance, but by doing this, do you know, I go to work and I feel fresh as a daisy. I'm really ready to attack the day, give it a go. Do you know, I get the opportunity to remember, and this is probably the important message today, that we're not our thoughts, are we, sometimes? Do you know, we don't need to be defined by the things we, control, we can't control. Do you know, 
So if we're thinking things, if we're thinking negative things, we all have those moments. To be honest, I've said this a lot and it does sound a bit weird, but we all have dark thoughts. We all have those thoughts that we shouldn't. So this is just a great opportunity sometimes just to, um, just to put them to bed, you know, enjoy what I'm doing, you know, think about them, but also enjoy the surroundings. Let them sort of slip away and uh, get on with doing what we need to do. Look forward to another brand new day, you know, and, we're, and going back to the start of the week, you know, I mentioned about sort of setting boundaries and people, I felt people crossed them a little bit. Do you know, it's probably, when people do that, do you know, we, we, we get affected because it's how we feel and that's what we have to remember. It's about how we feel about ourselves, not about how others feel, do you know, because for example, one day someone might say something to you and you might you might laugh it off, you might be absolutely fine. Do you know, the next day you might be really wound up and upset by it. And that just depends how we're feeling, doesn't it? So it's important to remember that it's sort of every situation because it's how we feel. Do you know, if, we've, if, if we're feeling confident, if we're feeling happy and content with ourselves, it doesn't matter. It absolutely doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And the reason I sort of speak about this on a, on a morning is for those reasons I said about, you know, sort of letting those thoughts slip away sometimes, having the chance to process everything. We do, we're all guilty of uh, not allowing that, you know, uh, rushing around at 100 miles an hour, even in this situation. What this situation, the whole lockdown thing, the past few months have given, given me in particular, is chance to really sort of start understanding that watch a lot of things, listen to a lot of things that, that help me understand, that help me realise that if I do the things I need to do, if I do things like get up on a Friday morning and go for a walk, do you know, it really doesn't matter what anyone else is thinking. I'm not trying to be cocky and arrogant, do you know, it's, it's kind of not the way I am. If anything, I'm, I struggle a bit for confidence sometimes, but it's about what we believe in ourselves, and when we do the things that make us happy when we enjoy um when we enjoy new activities learning listening understanding you know it makes the world a difference and that's what it's all about isn't it you know i come up here today just for something different you know like i say I probably wouldn't have well i didn't say this but i wouldn't have enjoyed views and pictures like i have done in the last few months but just uh, accepting that understanding that it it adds something to my day it makes me feel better do you know it's fantastic it's uh, it's brilliant for the mind it's brilliant for the soul do you know being out here today is definitely that it's cold just show you down the lane there it's all quiet and uh, peaceful just a few birds do you know not interrupting too much if you watch this christmas special you might know what i mean there but yeah it's just uh, it's just fantastic to be out and full of it again you know really looking forward to the weekend really really uh looking forward to getting some activity hopefully feeling a little bit better you know getting back on top form getting plenty of activity in so guys if you guys can do that if you can get out early always a, a benefit isn't it getting out in the daylight despite the fact it's misty. It's always a, an added benefit. It always does so much um, in helping us achieve the things we want to achieve. Do you know, small wins, that's all we talk about all the time. Small wins is, is, is what it's about. So if we can uh, just get out there, stay active, keep refreshing the mind, do you know, like I say, we're not defined by our thoughts. Please remember that. I think I've probably spent 20 years not knowing that. And I'll admit that, you know, lots of people will spend their whole life probably uh, dwelling on that and, and being worried. And all we're trying to do is help people understand, just trying to sort of pass on some messages. Some of the things I'm picking up, whilst the message is not quite as clear as I want it to be sometimes, whilst the situation's a bit tricky, and I'm just walking around with a phone in my hand, you know, nothing too technical here, nothing too much, just a bit of encouragement to make the most of things. 
and that's all Friday mornings are about aren't they just making the most of things just changing the subject slightly I never offered a throwback question on Thursday yesterday schoolboy hour you know I always try to do that to give the guys the chance to to sort of drive some content to give me something to work from the following Thursday um, there was a question at the start of the episode um, from Helen asking what what one word would I use to describe running and I thought that'd be a great throwback question whether you're a runner or not it might not be a very nice word but just post in the comments what one word uh, would you use to describe running of course in the do running community it's kind of the uh, the basis of what we do do you know whilst it's not everything whilst you don't have to be a runner you don't have to be a walker necessarily we're just trying to sort of invite people along if they want to be with us but i just thought it'd be interesting to find out what people's opinions are of, of running so if you can comment on any of the posts any of the videos before next thursday i can read those out and it'll be interesting to see what people have got to say so for today guys that's just about it i'm going to take a few pictures it's not that much to take pictures of because of the mist again but uh and there's a big horse looking at me so i might get a picture of him <laughs> but of course don't forget that saturday selfie uh get out get your activity in do you know post up what you've been doing it's absolutely fantastic to see i, I said i've said it so many times already today we're just trying to encourage and inspire people you can do that as well do you know and that's what the saturday selfie is it's just your way of posting in i'll share those do you know makes for a great team effort as well it makes it all worthwhile do you know a, a, a hard week of activity do you know doing the things we love do you know and then uh, a bit of um what's the word i, I don't know what the word is <laughs> a bit of a, a, a sh a show of team spirit i guess you know uh, it's absolutely fantastic isn't it so i'm off now to get warm get some get some tea before i get to work you know like i say it's absolutely freezing wrap up warm but if you get this opportunity whether it's a friday the weekend or any other day of the week mondays will be a particularly good one wouldn't they you know but i can't wake up to walk every day uh, yeah so uh, if you can get the opportunity get out there make the most of the fresh air you know just get wrapped up warm and stay safe you know have a great weekend you know we've got that blue monday not to look forward to let's attack it the best we can let's give it a real go next week let's not be defined by labels they put on days and things like this let's do what we have to do and give it a real go so until then looking forward to the break looking forward to the chance to start feeling 100% again, just doing it.